so it is the 2nd of May and yesterday it was a bank holiday in Russia it was a labor day and uh, we are having five days off uh, so uh, now we are going out of town with my friend we decided to take ourselves to um, a lake in uh, Leningrad region and it is called the Ladoga Lake the Ladoga Lake S sounds like a ton twister <laughs> so this is how St. Petersburg li looks like on self isolation and we are going out of town so you can see it is some industrial uh, building right here and uh, so uh, uh, it is pretty much empty uh, there, are, there are no people on the streets, but this is uh, the like outskirts of St. Petersburg uh, But uh, there are pretty much cars on the streets on the roads and I suppose many people left uh, the city yesterday or the mm, previous day We are on Ladaga Lake and you can see it behind my back and uh, here is the place that is called the Broken Ring and it is the very place uh, where trucks from St. Petersburg during the Second World War were, um, were uh, taking children and uh, moving them uh, out of the city because the city was uh, sieged and blown by uh, fascists and uh, the, um, the uh, there were there was no food uh, no things for life necessary things for life in the city so uh, Soviet army uh, evacuated children and uh, uh, and the trucks were moving in during the winter along uh, the surface of uh, the Ladoga Lake side uh, Soviet army was delivering food and some goods uh, to the city so that the citizens uh, that uh, had remained in, in the city had something to eat had something to, to cure themselves this uh, is a very um, important and vital uh, place for St. Petersburg uh, because uh, due to this place the city survived this three years of siege and this is called eternal fire and uh, eternal fires are situated on the uh, on all the uh, monuments that are devoted to the second world war in russia and cis countries you can see this
and in Russian it is called Daroga Zhizny. So this this line uh, with uh, stones uh, is where the trucks uh, went on the surface of the lake. And as uh, I know from the lessons of history in school, um, fascists were shooting at those tracks, even uh, knowing that uh, there were children there, and uh, so they just wanted to destroy them and to kill all of them, who all of those people who were uh, moving out of the city. So this, this, this goes, goes, goes there and ends up there in a dead end. Now we are going to the lake from the other side uh, because there are a lot of people on our usual place. Mm, and as you know, it's not very safe to, to be near other people so we we are trying to find an inhabited place <laughs> to spend some time to savor the nature the lake we are somewhere near maybe on the way back to the car i will show you the railway that uh, a dead end of the railway so we are now somewhere near the lake. You can see it is in a distance. The lake. Oh my God, the lake, the lake. Что они делают? Это сам делает. Ну это да. Funny. Oh, lake. By the way, it is the biggest lake in the area, in Leningrad region and um, on the whole in Russia. It is one of the biggest lakes in Russia. This is how Russians spend their free time um, during weekends, during holidays. Many of them just uh, go into the forest or to the lakes uh, to have picnics and that's uh, what we are doing right now we are having picnic on a beautiful shore of a beautiful lake Ladaga in uh, Leningrad region and you d uh, I, I think you can imagine how it is important how it is um, what I feel just uh, after sitting uh, for a month at home and now uh, just having an opportunity to go out and to savor such a beautiful scenery, such a beautiful uh, shore uh, and such a beautiful uh, landscape. I'm so happy right now and our small picnic um, is just a like as we say Vishenka na torte a cherry on a pie. After we have lunch, we will go to the shore, to the lake, and I will show you the whole scenery. 
So this lake is uh, one of the biggest uh, lakes in Russia and it is the biggest in Leningrad region. Um, in summer there are, you can see the ships sailing there. Um, like a goods ship, uh, ships uh, and there is, there are no ships right now, I cannot see them but uh, today is a beautiful line of horizon. You can see uh, the um, navy blue lake and a blue sky and it is mixed on the horizon and it is super, super cool and it is super, super beautiful. And I hope guys you can hear this waves sound and this is absolutely awesome. It feels like I am on a seashore and wow. I don't know how to say it in English, so I will say it in Russian and then I will translate it for you. So, раньше здесь был забор с колючей проволокой. So, do you see the remains? Yeah. So there is a railway and I'm standing in the middle of it and I'm not afraid because it is ends in a dead end so I suppose no train will be coming soon here so I can even walk there the dead end okay so let's go walking.
So you can take a an electric train to this place and there is a railway station called Ladarska Ozera. I like the the design of the building. I will show you. Triangle. It has a memorial uh, hall, but now it's closed and such an old um, steam train. Looks nice and beautiful. And this marks the road of life. So this means that during the Second World War this was connecting the uh, sieged city with the other uh, with the rest of the country. Here is the memorial hall but it is closed right now and there is a monument just let's see what it's about so such a building here earlier i was um, showing you the uh, broken rain memorial and uh, i think that this railway station uh, during the second world war was very important so that's why it is renovated i think that this is a piece of steel uh, from the war I don't know what it was but you can see it is uh, a hole a big hole there and a small hole uh, there I think that this is uh, from uh, the Second World War and um, the uh, shield says Stal можно согнуть человеческую волю никогда you can bend steel but you will never bend man's will so yes, Soviet people were defeating their country like like they like they had another life, a spare life. They just fought up to death and they were were ready to give their life for the country. This station is pretty beautiful, I think, because this railway station was very important during the Second World War. So guys, uh, now we are heading home and I feel a little bit tired.